Have you ever had your friends or family come over to your place and you decided to cook some steak? But then, you just can't cook it perfectly. It's either it's overcooked or undercooked. So let me show you two ways to cook a perfect steak. River sear and sous vide. In today's video, I'm going to use the ribeye steak. Now obviously, you don't need to use a ribeye steak. You can choose whatever steak you want and ask the butcher to cut it to 3 to 4 centimeters thick. So let's start cooking, shall we? Okay, the first method that I will show you is the reverse sear. The first thing that you want to do is slap that meat for no reason, cut it to about 3 to 4 centimeters thick or about 1.5 inch. But you can totally skip this step just ask your local butcher to pre-cut your meat to your desired thickness. Now season your steak with salt on both sides. Just salt, okay? Pat them in and refrigerate it for at least 45 minutes. I did mine for just over one hour. By the way, this step is called dry brining. After your time is up, take it out of the fridge and your steak should look like this. A much more vibrant red color. Now season it with black pepper on both sides and pop it in the oven at 100 degrees celsius or 210 fahrenheit for one and a half hour. After that's done, we're going to sear it with a cast iron pan. Preheat it with enough oil until it is smoking hot, like this, and sear your meat for only one minute each side. Remember, you're not cooking the meat, you're just giving it a good crust. Flip it the other side, add butter, rosemary, thyme, and some garlic and baste it. And that is it, a perfect medium rare steak. Take it out of the pan and don't cut it just yet. Give it a good five to 10 minute rest, okay? Now the second method that I'm going to show you is by sous vide it. Start by seasoning your meat with salt and pepper on both sides. Do some salt bay action, add the aromatics in. You can use whatever aromatics you want, but I'm using thyme and rosemary for this. Place it in a vacuum bag and vacuum it. If you don't have a vacuum like this, you can use a Ziploc bag but make sure you take out most of the air out, okay? Once your meat has been vacuumed and looks something like this, set your sous vide machine to 130 Fahrenheit or 55 degrees Celsius and set it to 2 hours. Now put your meat in the water bath and if your meat starts floating, add something heavy on it. Luckily, I have this burger press that works perfectly for it. Two hours later. Once that's done, rip out the plastic drastically for no reason, take out your meat, remove the aromatics, and we're going to torch it with a blowtorch. This will give your steak a beautiful sear without cooking the inside at all and keeping that perfect doneness in the sous vide. Now, because I have a tiny blowtorch, it took me about five minutes each side to sear the steak. So if you have a bigger ones, you probably don't need to torch it for five minutes or you will get a charcoal meat. Now once your steak has a beautiful sear, flip it over and begin torching it again until your steak looks like this. Let it rest for at least 5 minutes, then I'm going to cut it to show you guys the perfectly cooked medium rare doneness of the steak. And there it is, two different techniques that will guarantee you the perfect steak. Alright guys, that is it for this video. If you like this video, give a like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Now go cook the perfect steak.